Hi, I'm Martin, and amongst other things, I bake, like a lot. And this is actually my third contribution to cooking movies. The first one in English, though. The other two are in Czech and in French, respectively. Originally, this video should be about this. The Geek Cake, 8-layer non-baked cake designed and combined by me. But on the second thought, I now consider it a bit extreme and also kind of artificial, because, well, let's just say that the number 8 is not there by accident. Therefore, I picked just one layer, chocolate mousse to be more precise, and today I'll show you how to do it. But if there is interest in the Geek Cake recipe, I might consider making a special about it, or at least release the recipe. I have to admit that I'm not the author of the recipe. I have used the recipe published at JoePastry.com. The only change I made concerns food safety, since the original one uses raw eggs and somehow I don't trust my ex supplier. The ingredients are very simple. Two egg yolks, one cup of whipping cream, 60 grams of sugar, 20 grams of water and a 100 gram bar of your favorite chocolate. Concerning equipment, we'll need one saucepan, two metal bowls, one deeper bowl, pan, blender, whisk, fork, spoon and thermometer. Just to make it clear, all temperatures mentioned will be in Celsius degrees. Let's start with pasteurizing egg yolks in bain marie To prevent unwanted firming of yolks due to the heating, we have to add whipping cream. The recommended amount of cream is 2 tablespoons of cream per 1 egg yolk, therefore in our case 4 spoons of cream. Now, while whisking, warm the mixture up to 70 degrees, then put it aside. The time required to heat it up and to prepare next stage should suffice for egg pasteurization and besides I'm a man and I don't multitask very well. Now, next stage is preparation of sugar syrup. Mix sugar and water in a small pan and while stirring heat it up to 112 degrees, then quickly pour it into bowl with pasteurized eggs and blend for several seconds at high speed so that sugar won't form any clusters and blend nicely with eggs. Now, whisk it up until its volume increases several times. Take the other metal bowl, melt the chocolate and then combine it with the whisked eggs. The blend will be a bit rough, but it's okay. Before moving to the final step, wait till the mixture cools down to room temperature. So let's continue, whip the remaining cream and incorporate it in the mixture. This is done in two steps. After whipping the cream, add one third into the mixture and carefully blend it. It will lose volume, but it will make smooth texture. After smoothing, add the rest of the cream and blend it in the same way as before. And that's it. Place the mousse into a serving dish and put it in a fridge for a while. Then, well, just try not to eat it all at once. Remember, it has almost half a kilo. Bon appetit!